In 2016, Huawei cooperated with Leica for the first time and launched the P9 series featuring the world's first Leica dual camera system, which set the trend of mobile photography. Since then, each generation of the Huawei P series has been leading the industry in mobile photography. The race among Android vendors is gaining its momentum in 2020. In today's flagship market, the competition at the flagship level couldn't get any hotter. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra versus the long-awaited Huawei P40 Pro Plus, and which of these beasts are going to prevail. Ni hao song day! I am Rob from the One Shot Tech channel, and in first, let's get started by having a look at the 108 megapixel main camera on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. We know that light shines on the camera sensor through the lens. Individual dots on the sensor convert optical signals into electronic signals, which are then converted into digital signals by the processors. The digital signals are stored in the memory card and we can see the photo with a card reader. When we take off the lens of a single lens reflex camera, we are able to see a translucent semiconductor board hidden behind the lens, which is the sensor of the camera. The individual dots receiving the light signals that are densely distributed on the sensor are pixels. To illustrate the relationship between the pixels and frame, let me take this plastic cup as an example. The rectangle is compared to the 1 slash 1.28 inch sensor of the Huawei P40 series, while the parallel plastic cups are compared to the individual pixels of the camera. We now pour beverages of different colors into the cup, which is like the pixels receiving and recording light of different colors. Huawei P40 series with 50 megapixels are like 50 million plastic cups arranged in the area shown in the figure. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has a sensor of 1 slash 1.33 inches, which means the rectangle is downsized. To put 108 million plastic cups in a smaller area, we will have to switch to smaller plastic cups and shorten the distance between the cups. Consequently, each plastic cup is filled with less beverage, which means an individual pixel can only accommodate smaller amount of optical signal electronic charge, resulting in reduced light intake, full well capacity, and signal to noise ratio, also known as SNR. As a result, the image has more shades of gray and image details are easily lost in low light conditions. Meanwhile, the image dynamic range will also be lowered as less light passes through the lens. What's worse, due to the large pixel density, crosstalk between pixel occurs, which causes an increase of the image artifacts and loss of the image details and texture. Photography is the art of balance. To achieve an optimal imaging effect, the camera that you're using should strike a balance between the pixel size itself and the number of pixels that the camera has. The key of such balance is the focus speed of the camera. Currently, the most advanced focus technology in the industry is the dual PD technology from Canon. This technology enables each pixel to contain two photodiodes and each photodiode receives light independently. The adjustment of the focus camera set is calculated by detecting the deviation amount and deviation direction of images generated from the left and right signals. What's more, dual phase detection as a better autofocusing technology requires the pixel size to be at least 1.2 microns. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra features a pixel size of only 0.8 microns, which means that it can only take advantage of the traditional phase detection technology that already exists. The P40 series is designed with a pixel size of 1.22 microns, with each of the 50 megapixels possessing the focus capability. When the output pixel is 12.5 megapixels, the size of a single pixel reaches 2.44 microns, thanks to its 4-in-1 pixel binning technology supporting octa-phase detection. The entire Huawei P40 series has unmatched focus speeds in all kinds of conditions, specifically in low light conditions and also motion scenes. When shooting a moving cat in a dimly lit room, we can't use the long exposure night mode. Such scenario tests not only the camera's light sensitivity, but also the focus speed. This is a photo taken by the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, while this one is taken with a Huawei P40 Pro Plus. Let's take a look at the details. We took more photos in the dark environment and at night, and it was clear that Huawei outperformed Samsung in terms of anti-overexposure, color reproduction, image details, and purity. In addition to the larger size sensor on the Huawei P40 series, the Huawei P40 series also features an RYYB filter, 
which essentially allows you to take amazing photography in low light conditions without having to switch across into night mode. Other colors can be synthesized by mixing different proportions of the red, green, and blue primary colors. The color rendering principle of digital imaging is to add an RGGB Bayer filter to the sensor so that each pixel has a monochromatic filter. Red pixels only allow for red light to pass through, so do green and blue pixels. Other colors are supplemented based on the interpolation algorithm of the primary colors. Yellow light is made up of the red light and green light. When RGGB is replaced with RYYB, yellow light can pass through both green and red pixels. In this case, RYYB is equivalent to RRGRGB, and the amount of light intake increases by more than 40% instantly. An optimized algorithm is used in the P40 series to solve the color cast problem caused by RYYB, which occurred on the Huawei P30 series before. The Huawei P40 series can produce colors closer to the original color of the object while the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra tends to generate brighter colors than the original. When we look at the camera modules on both products, we see the same rounded rectangle in the upper left corner. I have to say that Huawei's design is more rhythmic and delicate. Samsung directly adds the label of Space Zoom 100 times on the lower right corner of the module to tout its zoom capability. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus features a Penta camera setup with incredible zooming technology as well. The key question is, what is the key difference between these two products when it comes to zoom? According to the Samsung official website, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra features 10 times hybrid optic zoom and 100 times space zoom. The optical zoom capability of its telephoto camera is deliberately hidden. The 48 megapixel 103mm lens with an aperture of f-stop 3.5, which is a Sony IMX586 periscope zoom lens, only allows you to access four times optical zoom. Hybrid zoom can be achieved by combining the periscope zoom lens and also the main camera to capture longer distance zooming photographs. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus features a three times telephoto camera and a sophisticated 10 times multi-prism periscope telephoto camera, replacing the five times periscope optical zoom lens of the Huawei P40 Pro. Two optical prisms are placed in the periscope telephoto camera reflecting the light for five times, achieving 10 times optical zoom. In actual use, the zoom experience of Samsung is better than that of Huawei. Various zoom parameters are displayed directly. You can tap to reach the needed zoom. It is quite smooth when you swipe to change the zoom. When adjusting the zoom of the P40 Pro Plus to three times or nine times, obvious image jumping can be seen, which indicates there are two telephoto cameras involved. Let's evaluate the zooming performance of both of these devices when they access zoom at the same zooming level. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus's three times optical lens delivers excellent imaging quality and details, while the main camera of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has slight algorithm defects. Both products offer sharp images at 10 times zoom. However, when we zoom in, lines and fonts in the image taken by the Huawei P40 Pro Plus are clear, while blocks can be seen in photos taken by the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. In 100 times zoom, the text contours of the photo taken with the Huawei phone are still clearly visible, while that of Samsung photos are completely blurred. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra both deliver incredible smartphone experiences into your hand. It is important to note that both of these products, when it comes to the camera design, have been designed with completely different concepts. The Huawei P40 Pro Plus takes into account not only the zoom, but also algorithm and sensor design to deliver a really nice, comprehensive overall performance when it comes to the photography experience. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra takes a more radical approach to the photography experience. However, it doesn't meet the full comprehensive requirements of photographic scenes that you might be capturing photos in. In my opinion, mobile photography enables us to get rid of the expensive and cumbersome professional camera and leads to the democratization of photography in a real sense. Photography has shifted from a professional skill to a way of recording people's lives. Mobile photography may never be as good as that of a professional camera due to the space limit in a phone. However, a flagship smartphone highlighting photography is designed to provide a user experience close to that of a professional camera, allowing us to free ourselves from the limitations of time and environment. It's possible to record beautiful moments of your life in a better way, 
even in demanding scenes, including at the time when you sweat heavily during a workout, when you see something subtle, or when you are looking up at the stars. So that's it for today, guys. I'm Rob from the One Shot Tech channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.